everybody! Today we are doing a movie review with Agashi. So I watched this and Agashi didn't watch it. Um, I don't know if he was interested in it but I was waiting on it and so I wanted to see it so when it came out I watched it without him. But it is called On Your Wedding Day played by Park Bo Young and Kim Young Kwang. So this drama is starts off with um, Kim Young Kwang, he receives an invitation from Park Bo Young to her wedding. And she is his first love. So it fast forward us to back when they were seniors in high school and she transferred to his school. And he like immediately fell in love with her at the first sight. And you know, um, they get to know each other and they pretend to date so that guys on in on campus wouldn't hit on her and she didn't want him to get into fights anymore. So pretending to date and all this stuff like that, eventually they get more like he gets emotionally like falling in love with her. And then, you know, her family, her mom and her is running from her dad and he finds them and he wrecks things and she leaves. And then, you know, he, like, a year later, he finds out she's studying at this college. And he he studied and he took the exam and he got into the the um, college, the same college as her. And he finds out she's actually dating someone. And her boyfriend was, uh, I think, Song Jae Rin. And he was in the football team. And then um, she was dating him. And then um, Kwang... Young Kwang finds out that like he's like an a ho, and he dates like other girls, and you know he plays Park Bo Young, and so they get and she he hates it that like she's dating him, and he he's still in love with her. She's his first love, and so like they get together and they date and they share all these lovable memories and all this stuff together and. But you know things don't work out and they break up and um she goes off to study because she was doing like fashion designing and she wants to one day create her own her own brand and i he wanted to become a physical education like coach or teacher or something like that you know but like, he wasn't pushing hard in life and everything and so they break up they go separate ways and then they then when they meet again is when she is getting married and he receives her wedding invitation and on the way on the day of the wedding like his friends and then they were going to like help him i guess like take her away run away from the wedding but he didn't do that he went and congrat her and wish her the best so it's it's one of those dramas where it's not ugh, my bad it's one of those movie where you have your first love and you in love them and you meet them again and you still have those feelings for them even though you guys haven't seen each other for a while you still have those feelings for them and you know you get to spend time again together and more feelings develop old wounds old, old feelings open up and all this stuff like that and eventually you break apart again and you come back and eventually at the end one of them gives up and move on and in this one it was Park Boyan's character she gives up and move on I honestly when I watched this it it didn't make me cry but it made me feel the pain they went through like honestly I felt like he could have man up a little bit more and just just tell her the truth and just fight to be with her but he was kind of like beating around the bush and she struggled a lot and obviously she was beating around the bush too but like honestly she wanted to be able to lean on someone who can support her who can be her guidance who can be the bigger man in the picture to be like make the decision and stuff like that and I think the um, Young Kwang's character he couldn't do that that's why she didn't want to be with him even though she loved him she was seeking more of 
an older man to with the older not an older man but a man with the old, older mindset a set mindset and wants to plant his feet and get things going young kwang's character he didn't grow up in my opinion he didn't grow up and he had a really hard time realizing that and that's why it made purple young's character like left him and so and she chose a different man i mean she probably her character probably regrets it you know but when you want or need that and the other person cannot provide it for you no matter how long you guys are together you gotta let go even though it's painful ish they're they're not gonna change and they you need it you need a man or a woman who would grow up and and become an adult and take care of things you know take your responsibility you don't have that it's kind of like you can't be with that person I don't know just my opinion um but yeah that was like the movie and I don't want to spoil it so much for you guys who haven't seen it but um I enjoyed it it was a very nice story of young couple going you know starting at high school and then going to college and meeting again after college with the you know jobs and everything and then you know drifting apart and they actually like separated and move on with their life and stuff like that if i had to rate this <laughs> i give it a 3.5 um it did frustrate me on the whole beating around the bush for both um the main characters so um, yeah, i don't like it when they beat around the bush <laughs> so i give it a 3.5 i enjoyed it for park bo young you know i really enjoy her movies and her dramas she never fails to disappoint me i find it like i'm actually the same height as her so it makes me go oh my god like with her standing next to like kong su it just makes me go oh man if i ever meet kong su that's how tall i'm gonna be like <laughs> it's not just kong su like her standing next to park hyun she even kim kim young kong she's like tiny you know and then it makes me go um yeah don't wish for tall guys if you're short i am short and ajashi is like two three inches taller than me only and um i enjoy that because i don't have to look up so much <laughs> to to talk to him i don't have to look up or or kissing him i don't have to look up i'm i'm like just a little bit too tall or ajashi just a little and yeah we meet <laughs> yeah i do recommend this movie if you're looking for something to watch and it's like how we say it in america a chick flick and it's kind of like a chick flick so um just a little spoiler it is it might not be the happy ending you want but it is the ending that i find it that like it's it's it goes both way it goes good for both of them because you know they learn to realize what they went through and that is it for this movie review and when another movie comes out and if ajashi wants to watch it with me we'll review it if not i'll watch it myself and i'll review it with you guys don't forget to hit subscribe down there to see more like this